In this video, I'm going to explain how do we create the plates as shown on the drawing. We use the new DB Magic part module. Since this plate um, has four round corner, so the best way to do that is to create four circles at each corner and bridge by lines. We use extrude, we select the font as the plane, we place circles. We use a circle by center point. We place our circle somewhere on the vertical axis and diameter is 24 to make radius 12. We have other two corners as a radius of 12. When you actually place this circles, make sure not put your mouse at the end of this horizontal line. That will fix the position of center of circle at that point. You cannot move that at all afterwards. So it's somewhere either on this horizontal line or uh, beyond horizontal line with a dot red line indicate it, they are aligned to each other. Okay. And for the third circle, it's, it is uh, uh, the radius is 13. So into, into 13 and then place your circle on this vertical line and click and right click. So the, the circle has been done. Next is to uh, set distance between the circles. The first we move to the circle, then go can find the center, then move the circle, locate the center, and drag horizontally. That distance is 105. Oh, it's 105, not 106. Uh, the distance between, again, between the center of circle and horizontal axis, drag horizontally, that distance is 51. So we do the same for the uh, holes or the circles between that one and the horizontal, uh, the vertical Excess horizontal distance is 61. And we do the same and to the circle, then you can look at the center 61. So we have these all in, in line, and the next is to draw straight lines between. Circles. You have to actually make sure they are tangent to each other, and you can extend a bit, and then we can trim off afterwards. Right click. When you actually place the uh, your mouse on the circle, you have to make sure this 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 circle is is movable. Otherwise, you can't actually get exactly tangent here. Okay. So if it's not movable, you just right click to cancel the uh, okay and go tangent beyond yeah, okay right click. All right now we need to use the trim to remove the is the wrong undo it. I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about two. To remove. Trim.
Okay. Trim. Trim. Right. Uh, then carry on that that part. So now you have the proper shape, and if you click on the code sketch, it should allow you to go to the uh, third direction. The thickness of this one is a six. Into the distance, press return, finish, finish. So now you have the plate. The next is to place three holes on each of this corner using cut command surface. Uh, circle by center point. So locate your mouse somewhere here. Uh, the diameter of that hole is 9. And do the other one here. Do that another one here. Make sure this dot line doesn't appear. Otherwise, you will have your circle line okay right click the next is we use this concentric amount to make this concentric with this concentric with this arc a uh, circle concentric with this one uh, if we click on that code sketch and you can see if we go to that direction a cut that is not and go that direction you can see hole now being cut on the plane and then we save it that's it for this video